Beloved, it is with great joy that I welcome you to the month of December 2021, the last month in the year 2021. I want to thank God for you. I want to give God praise for bringing you to the end of this year. The fact that you have witnessed the beginning of the end is enough a conviction that God is determined to bring you to the end of this year. I want to thank God for your life. Hallelujah. It's another season. And I want you to take note, beloved, that God is about doing something very great in your life. And I prophesy this morning that as you weather through this last month of the year, 2021, God's mercy, God's favor, God's amazing grace will locate you for a change in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This month has been brought to us as a month of divine change. A month of divine change and I prophesy today that this new month divine change will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ beloved to become what what does it mean to to experience divine change or what does it mean to experience any change for that matter hallelujah change is saying you are becoming different or kind of you are being transformed to experience a change is to be transformed. Hallelujah. May I tell you that change is a part of life. Change is a part of life. From your birth to old age, beloved, change continues to take place. In all of our lives, change keeps taking place. Hallelujah. From our birth till old age. Change happens to everybody. Change happens in every life. Change happens even in things that you do not like. Change happens in things that you do love. Change is everywhere. Change is constant. Hallelujah. The only thing that has not changed and the only one that has not changed is the living God. In the 2,000 years of change that we have experienced after the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, He is the only one who has remained constant. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever hallelujah change is a necessary part of our lives growth and development it is beloved if your life must become meaningful what i tag divine change this month must necessarily take place in your life otherwise life in itself remains meaningless hallelujah Praise the Lord. If we must experience divine change, then the life of Christ must overtake our lives. The experience Nicodemus had with Christ, the same message that Christ gave to Nicodemus must happen to our lives. Hallelujah. You remember Nicodemus went to Christ the Bible says in the middle of the night, he went to him to inquire from Christ. He praised him. I know you are a teacher that comes from God. And the signs and wonders that you do, they are not ordinary. Praise God. And you know, Jesus knew what he wanted. Hallelujah. And you know what Jesus said to him he told jesus i know nobody can do what you're doing unless god is with him and jesus said to him beloved most assuredly i said to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of god and nicodemus was startled he asked jesus ah mr man how can a man be born again when he's old can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus said, no. That's not what we are talking about. No. Unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That's what we are talking about. That's what it means to be born again. Beloved, I want to thank God for your life. If you have been born again, then the process of this change has commenced in your life. If you have not, this month offers you an opportunity to enter into this new relationship 
and experience the change we are talking about. Hallelujah. Let me take you to the book of 2 Peter chapter 1 and I read verses 3 and 4. What I want to do this day is to pray with you and make declarations that will usher into your life the kind of change that your life desires, that your life demands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But let's look at 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, and then we go to pray. The Bible says, As His divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him who called us by glory and virtue, by which have been given to us exceedingly great and precious promises, that through this you may be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Beloved, this month, the Lord has graciously given unto me to declare to you His word. You are entering a season of divine change as the Lord liveth. And I can assure you, if the Lord has said it, He will bring it to pass. As the Lord liveth, new things will locate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, what you need for life and godliness has been delivered. Praise the Lord. What you need to make life what it should be has been delivered. Amen. Everything you need to make life count for you, God has delivered them unto you, especially if you are giving your life to Jesus as your Lord and your Savior. Praise God. But what you need is to ensure that you walk in the knowledge of Him without looking back. I prophesy this day that the glory of the Most High God will locate you for a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says God has given unto you exceedingly great and precious promises. Promises that are meant for now. Promises that are meant for the future. They all belong to you. And I declare that none of your inheritances shall be missed in the name of Jesus Christ. None will elude you as you walk through this last month of the year 2021. Amen. If you have read your Bible very well, you would have seen there are many, many people, many, many people in the scripture that experienced divine change. Hallelujah. That experienced divine change. And beloved, what does it take? You already possess the divine power. When the divine power of the Almighty rests upon you, change is imminent. Change is automatic. Change comes. Nobody can stop your change. What you need is that indwelling power. Is that transformation. Once it takes place in your life, nobody stops it. Hallelujah. If you have read the story of that man by the pool of Bethesda in John chapter 5, you would have seen that when God, when God is intended to bring about change in a life, nothing can stop it. Praise God. Nothing can stop it. The Bible talks about this man who has been by the pool for 38 years. You must have read that story too. And the Bible says in that place, there are several sick people, multitude of sick people who wait every year for that river to be turned around. And beloved, when there's a turn around, change takes place. But what they wait for there is a kind of a physical thing every eye will see. They want to notice when the angel will come and turn the river. But this man in particular has been there for 38 years. And every time the angel comes, he complained to Christ as Christ came by his side. I don't have any man who can do this on my behalf. Before I take one, two steps, people already get in there and it is a matter of first come, first serve. The first person that gets in there gets the blessings and that's all. You have to wait for another year. But on this particular occasion, 
the king of kings walked in there. The divine change himself came in there. The man who can bring about change in any life that no one can turn turned upside down walked in, into that place. I pray this morning that during this month, that during this festive season, the King of Kings shall walk into your life in the name of Jesus Christ. That the man came in, Jesus came into the scene. This man who had been by the pool for 38 years never noticed who he was. And the Bible says when Jesus saw him lying down, he asked him a question. What do you want me to do for you? What are you looking for here? And you know, it, 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 it's, a, it's a kind of a question that you don't ask a man who has, been, who has been waiting for something for years. He looked at Jesus and said to him, ah, Are you asking me what I'm doing here? Don't you know what people do here when they come and gather here? I've been here all these years. But that time, that particular season, was a season for divine change for him. I prophesy this morning that your season for divine change shall be now in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, as Christ asked him that question, do you want to be made whole? Do you want to be made well? The man, the man answered, ah, are you asking me? He, he, that's why I'm here. I have not seen anyone who could help me all this, all this while. Hallelujah. Before I take one step, others have taken their steps and somebody would already have been in the river. And that's the end of it. And Jesus said to him, man, without, without, without any blinking of an eye, rise up, take up your bed and work. Rise up, take up your bed and work. Hallelujah. And beloved, the man was waiting for that change in another year. But the change came calling on him. Change came locating him. Divine change visited him. I prophesy this day that your long-awaited miracles, your long-awaited hope shall visit you even now in the name of Jesus Christ. Divine change will locate you today and bring about a new beginning in your situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, that's how that man got healed. Because divine change himself visited him. Divine change will visit you this day in the name of Jesus Christ. And we can go on and on and on like that. You will see men in the scripture who received divine change just like that. Unexpectedly. Suddenly. Suddenly. Now that's what makes it a miracle. That's what makes it divine change. Because it is not what was planned. It is not. Somehow you expect it. But somehow you don't know how. You don't know when. You don't know who. You don't know which way. But God. God visited that man that year. I prophesy this day. That the same God. The God of Israel. The God of the heavens and the earth. Will visit you this morning. And this day. And this week. And this month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, God is about doing something in your life. We can go through the scriptures and you find several people who received such visitations. Who received such divine visits. Who received such divine changes. Many, many of them like that. Hallelujah. You want to talk about the man who sits by the entrance to the beautiful gate of the temple? Who, the Bible says, they carry all day. Every day, he was carried there. Not having a hope, not knowing what will happen to him, but they carry him there every day. But on one occasion, one morning, one day, he didn't know what would happen. He was, the Bible says he was lame from his mother's womb. But one day, one morning, they laid him at the gate of the temple. They laid him at the gate of that temple called Beautiful. He was looking at these men, Peter and John. He wanted to receive arms from them. Hallelujah. The usual, every time he receives, he received arms. 
That was the usual. He received arms from people. That was the usual. But that day, the unusual was going to locate him. The unusual was going to visit him. And as Peter and John came into the temple, the Bible says he gets his attention at them. He was looking at them, hoping to receive the usual. But beloved, that morning, the unusual visited him. I prophesy this day that during this season of divine change, the unusual will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. The unusual visited him. The Bible says he looked at them intently with the hope of receiving arms from them. But Peter looked at him and said, Beloved, silver and gold I do not have. But what I do have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And the Bible says immediately, immediately, Peter took him by his right hand and dragged him up. And what happens? Or what happened? His feet and ankle. The Bible says the, the bones by his feet and ankles received strength. And the man began to walk. There was jubilation. There was jumping up and down. There was happiness. There was joy. There was rejoicing. I prophesy this morning that during this season of the December 2021, there shall, jubi there shall be jubilation in your camp in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace will visit you. Divine change will take place in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, what I want us to do is to pray before I declare upon your life what God has in mind for you this month. I want us to pray. I want you to thank God for this season. God has been gracious to you. Look, this is the end of the year. We started the year 2021 just like yesterday. And God has graciously brought us to the end of it. This is the last one. You have enjoyed his goodness. I want you to give God praise for another season of divine change. It's a season of divine change for you. God is going to do something new. Let's give God praise. Thank him because he is faithful. Thank him because he's alive. Thank him because he changed it now. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, Lord. Be thou exalted. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for another season, another month. Hallelujah. We worship you. Beloved, I want you to thank God for the privilege of prayers. The privilege of prayers made available unto you. When we pray, God hears. When we pray, God answers. He answers. Let's thank him for the privilege of another opportunity. This privilege to pray. This privilege to come unto him. Hallelujah. He says, come unto me, all you labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Thank him for the privilege of, of, of this rest that you're going to possess going forward. Hallelujah. Thank God because your change will be undeniable. Your change will be undeniable. The Bible says, as that man who sat by the, the beautiful gate was there, the Bible says, the, the, the men who saw him, men who noticed him, began to jump up. They were jumping up. They were rejoicing. There was joy in that city because something unique, something extraordinary has happened. He was leaping and jumping and walking and praising God. Thank God because praises and jubilation will be your portion during this season. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want you to thank God because this new month will usher into your life a new hope. A new hope. A season of favor. A season of favor. A season of change. Hallelujah. We glorify your name, Lord. We magnify your name because you are faithful. Thank him because he's a faithful God. He never changed. Even when we are unfaithful, the Bible says he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We glorify your name. We worship you. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Beloved, I want you to pray this morning. You know, when God is about doing some things in our lives, some, somehow, sometimes, this spirit of unbelief will just come. 
Praise God. And divine change, divine change respects no man. It just goes, it, it goes where it is sent. Anywhere Jesus comes, changes take place. I do know that during this season, changes will take place in your life. The Bible says his divine power has given to you all things that pertain to life and godliness. All things, not just one thing. All things, all things that pertain to life and godliness. And I prophesy this day that the power of God, the grace of God will do the impossible in your own life in the name of Jesus Christ. Great grace will locate you for a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Beloved, I want you to pray this morning. Say, Lord, I receive grace afresh. Grace for my divine change. I receive this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive grace for my divine change during this season in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive grace to take the next step forward in the journey of my life during this season in the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, beloved. Pray that prayer. It is the twelfth month and something must happen in your life. Something must happen in your life. Talk to God and you spirit of unbelief. You spirit of unbelief standing between me and my change. I set you ablaze this morning. I set you ablaze this day in the name of Jesus. It is my season of divine change. You spirit of unbelief, give way in my life. Give way in my situation in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We give you praise in Jesus' name. We do pray. Amen. Beloved, I want you to pray. Praise the Lord. We need to, I, I need you to, to, to release, to release some fire in the atmosphere. Release some fire in the atmosphere that your change might come. Hallelujah. Talk to God this morning. See, I declare today that the fire of divine change shall begin to burn around me to create the change my life requires in the name of Jesus. To create the change my life desires in the name of Jesus. I release I release the, the fire of divine change. The fire of divine change all around me. All around me. All around me. To create the change my life requires, the change my life desires in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. I walk into my divine change. Nothing will hold it back in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, if you have studied the book of Esther very well, especially when you get to chapter 8 from verse 12, you know, there were things resisting change in the life of the children of Israel while in Babylon, while in Shusha. But you know what? The power of God came on them. Things changed. The unexpected happened. Hallelujah. I declare today, that the unexpected would happen in your own life too. The unexpected happened. Praise God. You know the story from the beginning. How Haman had desired to slaughter Mordecai and by extension destroy the whole of the children of Israel. But God turned the table because he prayed. God turned the table because prayer was rendered prayer was said i declare today that as we pray during this season the table that the enemy has set against you shall be turned around unto them in the name of jesus christ the table of abundance the table of surplus shall be set before you even in the presence of your enemies in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the Bible says, you set a table before me in the presence of my enemy, you anoint my head, and my cup runs over. Your cup will run over during this season, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know what happened? And eventually, the table turned against Haman. So much that the nation, the, the children of Israel, the children of Israel experienced what they never thought 
God can do. Your case this month, I prophesy, shall be like when the Lord brought about the captivity of Zion. We were like men who dreams. Grace will bring about a turn around in your life. Your nightmare shall be turned to dreams in the name of Jesus Christ. Your nightmare shall bring about the fulfillment of your life's vision in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The same king who had appended his signature to Amon's destroying the children of Israel was the same king who appended the signature aligned Mordecai to identify who the enemies of Israel is in Shushan. You know what happened. Divine change took place. A man and his household were destroyed. Mordecai and the train of Israel began their story of change. So much that they even had holidays. They had a feast I prophesy this day that in the presence of your enemies the Lord will prepare a table of feasting in the name of Jesus. The Lord will prepare a table of feasting before you in the name of Jesus Christ. Great grace will locate you. You know, you, you, you have read Psalm 23 verse 5 before. He you know, says, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You are not my head with oil. My cup runs over. My cup overflows. I declare this day that your cup shall overflow with abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. Beloved, talk to God. Talk to God this morning. Everything resisting change in my life, I set to a bliss. From now on, in the name of Jesus Every power, every might, every intention, everything, whatever it may be, standing to resist divine change in my life and situation. I set you on fire. I set you ablaze this morning. I set you ablaze now in the name of Jesus. It is well with me. Hallelujah. Talk to God as we round up this session. Talk to God. Declare every demonic covenant. Every demonic covenant denying me of my expected change be nullified by fire in the name of Jesus. Be nullified, be nullified, be nullified, be nullified in the name of Jesus. Be nullified, oh God, be nullified. Everything, every might, every power resisting change, standing against divine change in my life. What are you waiting for? Cut fire now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name. We give you praise. We bless your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Beloved, let me pray with you. Father, we bless your name because you are faithful. It's the last month in the year 2021. And thank you because there's nothing you cannot do. We give you praise because of the grace we already possess. Thank you because your, your divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness. We bless your holy name. Thank you because what you will do in our lives will depend upon the amount of your power that is at work within us. We give you praise. This day, beloved, and this month and during this season, I declare upon your life, a season of divine change in the name of Jesus Christ. I bring about in your situation a new experience, one that you have never gone through, that will bring laughter into your mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has happened to you all through the year before now, that has been unpalatable, I release you going forward onto palatable experiences joyous moment jubilating experiences in the name of jesus christ in the areas where you have been lacking 
Beloved, enter into your abundance in the name of Jesus. Enter into your abundance in the name of Jesus. Enter into your abundance in the name of Jesus Christ. The divine power of the Almighty shall bring about a season of divine change in your situation and in your life in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and possess your possession. Go ahead, beloved, and possess your possession. Every power resisting change in your situation, I come against them in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God will uphold you and see you to the end. As this year runs to an end, I declare that your lives are preserved in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I declare upon you today that the power of God will set you on high in the name of Jesus. You will not go below. You will not go under in the name of Jesus Christ. You will suffer no setbacks in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. During this season, joy and jubilation shall be your, your portion. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. Glory be to God. We give you praise. Enter into your season of divine change. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God.